Alright. I hear you. It's about 200 more damage than what the other version was doing. Uncharged. Damn, and fully charged, it does almost as much as it does more, actually, than my main attack, so. That's pretty solid. We can combo that, you know. A little full charge of that into a... Uh, into an attack. Okay. That's some damage. Okay. I don't know why my guy did not turn to hit him when he was locked on, but... Whatevs. I see you down there. Mm hmm. What's up? What's up? Some more allowed down there or whatever. We'll get to you guys in a minute. Believe that, brother. Yeah, I think this is where that guy would have jumped down at me, right? But I killed him already, I think. Could be mistaken, though. Okay, so yeah, obviously that's the door we gotta open. We need to find the switch for that. Nope. Nope. No, I think we're supposed to drop down when those dead bodies were at the, uh... Wanna make sure there's no illusory, you know, walls around here. But I'm pretty sure, like... All the the majority of illusory walls are in uh, dungeons. The only other ones I know of, I think, are in the uh, Rea Lucaria. Sitting down here sleeping. Sleeping on the job, slacking here, brothers. We can miss we got ashes.
at some point in time, I don't know when I'm going to end up having the time to do this. Between all the other games that I have to play and that are coming out and that I want to play, but... Uh, I still have even fucking the Demon Souls remake to do. But at some point in time, I might do some kind of like... From Soft Marathon. Play through all the Souls games back to back to back. I don't know. I might get burnt out of doing that though, you know what I mean? Because like... I've played through Dark Souls 1 somewhat recently-ish, relatively speaking. I mean, I played through it. The last time I played through it was when the remaster came out, which is, I don't know. Two years ago now? Three years ago? Four years ago? Something like that? I think it was just before Elden Ring came out, right? Something like that. So... Yeah, play through that. I haven't played through Dark Souls 2 since Dark Souls 3 came out. So that's been 2016. So that's almost like 10-ish years. Right? Actually, probably since even Bloodborne came out. Like once Bloodborne came out and I, you know, I got my PS4 and one out for that, I like, I did not go back to Dark Souls 2. I was just playing through Bloodborne when I want to play through something, so. All right, you fuck. I just wanted to kill him before I started fucking shielding him. Humor, Trisha. Okay. Don't really care about that, but another thing done. Another boss killed, more souls gotten. But yeah, so, you know, play through Dark Souls 1 Remaster. Play through Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. That's the one that I have. Uh, I don't have the original Dark Souls 2, which I don't even think they sell anymore since the Skull of the First Sin came out. Uh, play through then Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, it's a hero. And I mean, I've played through, obviously, Elden Ring recently enough. But it would just be nice to get playthroughs of those up on the YouTube channel. As well as, like, just to go through and do everything that I can in those games and go through kind of the lore like I am now, like, take my time, just enjoy it. Play through it. Uh, explore the lore, what we can, try to piece whatever we can together. Stuff like that. I mean, the lore of, like, Dark Souls 1 has been gone over so many times now that it's pretty much everything in there is kind of figured out. But it's still nice to kind of go through and interpret things as you want and speculate about things. And I mean, like, I don't know, some of the original ideas that Miyazaki had that didn't get into Dark Souls 1. Oh, hello. Pretty dope. Oh, you're gonna do a thing right off the bat. Okay. It's gonna be like that, is it? Okay. I forgot that this thing is even up here. Get up, please. Yeah, like some of the ideas that he had about uh, 
Oscar and Solaire and the choices that were going to happen at the end of the game would have been really fucking cool and sick. I didn't make it. So like, you know, talking about some of that as we go th at the end after we beat Gwen in that playthrough. And then also the, um, there was like a Lord boss that was supposed to happen in New Londor or whatever it's called. Or you uh, flip the switch to lower the water or whatever. They're supposed to be like, like the boss site there or something. If I remember right. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, who knows if I'm ever going to really like find the time to really do it or even actually do it. What What is trying to attack me? Certainly isn't this guy. Not this little Jerboa over here. Is this another urge tree here? Minor Earth Tree Church. Is there another tier here even still that I haven't found before? Oh, that's where the gold order seal is. I'm pretty sure I've found that before. I'm pretty sure I've I've found this before and I'm just not remembering. Like maybe I found it on my first playthrough and I just haven't remembered since, but okay, interesting. Bonus well, sacred seal depicting the ceremonial observations of order enhances golden order fundamentalist and incantations. Fundamentalism is scholarship and all but name. Skills incantations using both intelligence and faith. Interesting. Never done a dragon build either. Do something I do at some point. But I don't know. The dragon stuff never really has interested me. And I mean the dragon baths just seem OP, man. The range and area they throw out, it just they, they, they just seem strong. They just seem like too good. <clears throat> you know, it's around here in the outskirts. A little mushroom. One of the divine towers. going to be going to here in a minute once we do that cave down here. Is there anything down here? There sure is like a boss is going to show up down here of some sort. Moldering butterfly, look out. Hmm. Feels like there should be something here. Why is it always blood stain? No horse ahead. Liar head, therefore, no horse ahead. Interesting, okay. I guess maybe you could get down there if you don't use torrent. You could like slide down and it doesn't kill you or something. It's crazy though, just like 
I don't know exactly how many hours I've had on Elden Ring or how many playthroughs of this I have. Like, I haven't had, like, there's plenty of people out there who, who play this game far more than I have and have played through this game far more than I have. But I've done quite a few playthroughs of this and it's still crazy to me that I'm like, there's still stuff that I haven't found. I haven't gone anywhere, every single place, explored every single thing, you know what I mean? I always think this cave is the one on the Altus Plateau. I always think that this cave is this one. Yeah, there's a mining belt that you got in here and then you go further in and it takes you to like one of those onyx, uh, guys I think and uh yeah you can light the divine tower well, you throw your little stone at me here guy bunch of illusory loss for this one. Gotcha, bitch. Where's your buddy? There's another one around here, right? Yeah, that's the mining bell. bread. I'll have to kick that down right now. Okay. This, I think... is the spot me another loser wall that takes me to where I'm not thinking. I think this is the cave that... Oh, hey there. What are, you, what are you doing? Literally, again, hitting the button, telling you to attack, and you're just, you're just standing there. This guy's fucking juking the shit out of me, brother. But, uh, I think... Isn't maybe it's a different cave and not this one actually, but there's an illusory wall that takes us to that one spot where we fought the stealth, you know, creature of the stars thing. My friend, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Oh, 
My friend, my friend, thank you, my friend. Now we go up and continue. What is my HP anyway with all this? Damn, I'm over 2k. 2185. Okay. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Doesn't Morgan's Rune give you even more HP, but that's like all it does is give you like a stupid amount of HP. drop these fucking ruined fragments. Bitch. Mod of Grace Mimic. Holy shit. Whoa, look out. Thing. I can kill you before you do that. I don't really have no reason to grab these, but it's just one of those things where I just don't want to leave items around. You know what I'm saying? They're there. You might as well grab them. Even though they have no real use and I won't use them. Might as well take them. Yeah. That leads where we want to go, I think. But I think, is there not... Maybe I'm mistaken. Is there not another illusory wall over here? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. Sometimes the way you fall off stuff is like, uh, that's not what I was trying to do, but whatever. Oh. Gentlemen. Lord's great sword. All right, so yeah. Going through here, and now we have the Divine Tower, which I believe this is for Morgoth's room. Either Morgoth or Reichardt, one or the other.
So far, I can definitely understand why the Blasphemous Blade is one of the more popular weapons to use. It's a solid great sword, and I mean, like... A, the ability to just heal yourself by killing stuff, then this heals you whether you kill stuff or not. And then the fact that you don't even have to kill something with the blade to heal yourself, you can use anything. You can use range spells, stuff like that. Very, very solid weapon for a lot of different kinds of builds. Oh, so this was Rikers. Okay. Rikards, great. Great Rune of the Shard Bear Rikard, it's plus from short HP upon defeating enemies. Rikard was amongst children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Green America. The Rikard fed himself to the Blast and the Serpent, Great Rune and all. Okay. So, I mean... We could even add that too, and then like, I wonder if that stacks. Like the healing from that stacks on top of uh what we get from the blasphemous blade that would be pretty insane right all right so we've done that now is there's a little beetle thing we still need to get down here that I didn't get before. Is Prawn Guy down here on this side or the other side? I want to say he's on the other side. What? gonna come back through here so prayerful strike okay then we can go that's a big one My me folks, just crossing through. I went the complete wrong way. I wanted to go this direction, which is where I thought I was going. I ended up going the completely wrong way, so whatever. I don't know if I've ever looked up over here or not. I think I have, but... Let's go explore. I mean, technically, that's really what we have to do, right? I mean, there's the whole underground area to do through Nakron and those bosses, but I mean, 
really at this stage where I'm currently leveled, I technically could just run through everything pretty quickly and get to the DLC if I wanted to, or at least be ready for it. There's a chest around here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe not. Control up here taking a nap, dude. Fucking out. problems with this game though are these things that are so large like lock on like that's the core part of the game but when you're dealing with things this large lock on just doesn't do anything for you is so far up I'm not yeah it's I'm not even getting full heal from that yeah okay well there's nothing else up over there kind of what I thought went up through here earlier but whatever Hero's grave thing to do over that way more. I don't think that troll gives you anything or does anything. He's just like sitting there staring down at the water. I guess let's go run through the cemetery up here. I don't remember there being anything important through there, but we'll have to double check anyway. It's interesting that uh, there's all this, this dead people through here, you know what I mean? Or uh, trying to get rid of death. Certainly out of uh, undead here. Oh, there's a merchant up here. My man here have to sell. Is someone there? A customer? Well, perfumer bottle. Up below the capital. 
Remember Narcs? Girl will buy them. Might as well buy the perfume bottle. Why not? Upper class robe. Oh, and he sells that dude stuff. Okay. Fucking dead snails here. Fucking skulls. I don't think I know what you're doing. See, I mean, Godwin's body is like directly underneath this, I think, right? Like. I think so. I think that's, that's part of it. I think it might be under that tree right there, actually. So. Why there's this like big cemetery sitting around here. Crystal tier. I don't remember what that is. I know there's a Dex tier in the urnia that I still haven't gotten to. I'll grab that at some point. Just to have it. As many of them as you can, you know. Did that already. Went down there and I killed him before. Wouldn't really anything else for me to get or do down there. Old moon. I was making sure there aren't any other items and things around here. I've been up there and looked up there. spells and whatnot in the DLC too. I think they're gonna add more stuff for sleep. Cause there's really not. There's like there's one sword, like Trina sword or something like that. Paint Trina. She has a, that that that's like a sword that does sleep status. There's arrows that do sleep status. I don't think there's a specific spell that you can do sleep with. Second defense of Landell, the fell omen stocks high the corpses of heroes, yet the urchery remains unshaken. Well. Those are all the dead from an attack that uh, Morgoth held off, huh?
So down here is where prom boy is, I think, right? And I'm pretty sure the dung eater guy will invade you down here too as part of his quest, yeah. What's up, brother? Perfect bloody timing, Ashley. I got crab cooked up fresh. Hey, there's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the dung eater? He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god. J A O L. Monster. Not just some petty dog like me. Sure, we'll buy out. Never met someone with a taste for crab I couldn't trust. You've got a real thing here, eh? And it's only getting better. There we go. Marika's tits. You must be hungry. Marika's tits, you must be hungry. He's a killer. Kills people. Who curses the souls. Does all sorts of shit to the corpses. To keep them cursed forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I ever been more scared than either. Rooted to the bloody spot while he did that. To my friend. Hmm. This leads to the other hero grave. The rune bearer that you gotta have break this shit over here. It's like annoying, but whatever. Hey, rune bearer, where you at, brother? I just killed your babies. Come over here. Hey, there you are. Okay, dude. Okay. Your guy. Where are you going? There we'll do all the buffs. Where are you going there, buddy? that matters because we're just going to come down here but all right i'm pretty sure this is the one where there's there i think this one has a lot of stuff to do technically and you can get the earth tree armor down here and then there's this is the one where you fight the two crucible knights at the time the spear one and the one with the, the sword and shield he's got the unique sword that does like the spinny wind up into the big explodey thing i think We'll see how this goes. I mean, I'm sure I'll get through it fine, because, you know, I'm him and all, but... And to reset. 
Well, we have plenty of prawns now. We got plenty of uh, damage negation. The Golden Epitaph. It's another uh, Faith Great Sword. Sword made to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden first and the giving gods to die and fuse with humble prayer of a young boy. Oh, brother, Lord, brother, please die a true death. I think that's like Nicholas saying that. But it's also interesting that it says sword man to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden first of the demigods to die. You know, that's that's the, the, the lore about him. He was the first of the demigods to die, but also implies that other demigods have died. You know, I mean, there there is that implication there. That's not like said that that is a thing that other demigods have died. You know. I mean, I guess technically we're killing them. If you want to, like, say that. I mean, there is that, right? Uh, yeah, this is the one where they fucking... This one's annoying. It's gonna appear. Back here, no. Okay. No. Well, ah, there we go. There's more to go this way. I was gonna say I know there was more to go and do. I'll just completely miss. This is the part that's a pain in the ass right here. They had to like time it and run down between them and shit. Appears here, and you got a fucking Ooh. This camera shake can fuck right off, by the way.
I'll burn the death from you. Also interesting in like Dark Souls. I don't know about Dark Souls 2. I don't remember Dark Souls 2, but in Dark Souls 1 and in Dark Souls 3 and then in Elden Ring, these things produce a cloud that like has a status effect that just kills you. Like the the curse in Dark Souls 1, I think just how it kills you and then reduces your maximum HP until you break the curse. And then uh I don't again I don't remember if that's the case in Dark Souls 2 or not with them. And this one, these guys apply death that just kills you outright. So, yeah, just interesting. You know what? I actually... I think we want to go... Not this way. At least not this way yet. I think we want to actually go back this way. Drop down. Here and make our way across there. I think you gotta do that, uh... Ooh. I think you gotta do this to kill those, uh, horse things. Chariot do that then you get the urge tree armor set or whatever and some other stuff i think skeletons coming to life here eh Crucible Feather Talisman. Proves dodge rolling and increases damage taken. I'm good. I'm good on that one, brother. lifts things up to make them invisible. Yep, there's a light that comes through there now. Oh boy. And all those things should die.
We have to jump on it. Might have to jump on it and ride this up and jump up over there. We can? We might not be able to. Hmm. Yeah, we might not be able to. So I guess we have to just lift that up and then jump down in here. ground and then all the tree sentinel armor set from that all those things die the earth tree armor sets i like it I, I think it looks good and it's one of the heavier ones it's a good one he's the good Shit, dude. Dude! Fucking get the attack off. Oh, wow. 
Okay. What's up? What's up? What? Stop falling back on that shit, man. Every time you fucking miss, you just do that. I just like did moves that uh whatever. Love having commands queued up. great sword and then the crucible axe set as well so you, you actually you get a ton of stuff from this one this one is definitely worth doing plus you get souls it's a pain it can be a pain in the ass earlier on though like fighting both of them can be pretty rough earlier on but you really just got to separate the spear guy and take him out first and then once you take him out then you just got to kind of play defensive and take your time fighting the the shield knight so Frenzied flame. Oh, that's up. That's below. Let's just travel up here to Bach. Rest real quick. Yeah, brother. There you are. Bach the seamster. At your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Master, did you see it? The, the earth tree. I, oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so, so dazzled. I felt something stir in my breast. The earth tree is waiting for you, Master. I know it. I do. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> so soon it doesn't look as good without the robe though bock the seams ready to make a just oh going so so please you have anything else to say bock the sea ready to make oh going okay. so i'm curious i'm just i'm curious what we need to do for his quest line now, though. Uh, la 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 la. Fuck. All right. Uh, East Capital Rampart. You have to rest the East Capital Rampart side of your room to appear. Blah blah blah. Quest line now branches to one of three rays. You can either give him a laurel tier upon rest. Wait, what? We found kneeling by the East Capital Rampart side of Grace. Landell, you have to rest as a capital, blah, blah, blah. Quest line now branches in one to three ways. You can either give him your larval tail upon resting, you perform the. You're beautiful in front of him, then discuss it. Okay. Ready to make a Did I just hear my mum speaking? I don't think Pete was his Thank mom. Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my kind master, let me hear her voice. Oh, please, if I may dream just once. Do you feel the same way my mum did? Do you think I'm beautiful, 
despite these looks. <laughs> oh, master, kind master, I, Bok the Seamster, am forever in your service. After choosing your beautiful branch, telling him he's beautiful when he asks to make progress and Landell Bach relocates to the East Capital Ring Parts out of Grace. Was that it? After you do that, he just stays here. If you give him the larval tier, he just dies. And his quest ends. Doing neither of the options above, this will move him right outside the rail of color grain, ending his quest line. Okay. I guess there's nothing else to do with Bach, huh? Now let's look at the dung eater here. Where where are you at, Mr. Dung Eater? Uh Fia stuff I know. I've done Fia's quest plenty of times. The Alice we did. I don't uh, I don't think there's really anything else to do with patches, right? the entrance hall after Lord Rocker Blast being defeated, he will move to the Gated Castle on the bridge, uh, leading to the summer of the Briar. Finally, once Tanith has been given, the Dancer's Castanets, he will move back to the Milk Murk Water Cave. Okay. Huh. I guess uh, I guess I shouldn't have killed Tanis. <laughs> I guess there was more to do with her, huh? I had to do with patch of stuff. Huh. Interesting. All right. I guess let me look at Tana's stuff then. I'm curious. I guess there, there probably isn't anything I can do, right? Thank you, Tashna. She would like to meet the Lord. Blah blah blah. Once you see the Riker turn to Tana, speak to her once more. Once Tana has disappeared from Volcano Meadow, you find her back at Riker's boss arena. Yeah, feeding on the corpse. This shade you can give her the dancers castanets to receive from patches of shaded castle, although this doesn't seem uh this doesn't seem to any known effect. Okay, so that doesn't seem anything. You can be killed doing so, causes Tanith Knight to invade you. Upon feeding, he'll drop the aspects of the crucible, which we know. And you get Tanith's tire. Note, it's unconfirmed whether this is her final destination. Courts have shown she will be eating Rikard's corpse at the end of the game. Seeing that it's her patches will not continue your quest after Rikard is defeated. Hmm. Maybe there's some more DLC stuff with her that'll happen later then. Uh, I killed her anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh where where are you, Mr. Dung Eater? We've done the three fingers crossed. We Jar Baron. Uh I can't do anything with him until Fair Missoula. Where the fuck is he? Encho, I know. Millicent, I know. Blade, I know. There you are, Dung Eater. Okay. Please not during quest line, Ronnie the Witch. Giving Ronnie the uh, Finger Slayer Blade will cause for such as all of us to become a lifeless puppet. Effectively locks you out of further interactions in this quest line and possibly prevents you from giving Solus Potion to the Dung Eater. Oh, okay. That's right. That's the, That's an option you can give him. Uh, 
Penron are told if you approach him with a curse, uh, said to be cursing inventory, he'll give you the sewer jail key. Ask you to find his real body beneath Langdale. Find his real body to confound in the subterranean training grounds from the underground roadside, side of Grace, so blah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I think you just need to feed him all of them, right? What's showing down here? One, at least one set of ghosts should give you the sewer jail key, blah, blah, blah. Doing a refound in cell. Spawn in the underground road. Yeah, I know how to get there. I'm returning to the round hole. Daniel will be missing, having left a message asking you to fight him at the uh, blah blah blah. If doing uh, black guard, big ass quest line, be sure to complete before moving on to the next step, or big won't drop the seabed curse. Okay, so what is this then? Uh, la 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 la. At the land all moat, he warns player about the dung eater. Uh, at the Dung Eater's quest line, is that the point where he'll be waiting at the outer moat? Uh, and the Black Guard is present in Landale. The last player gets the dog until he says he thinks Dung Eater is lurking somewhere nearby. We're going to there and interact with the now wounded Black Guard to trigger the invasion. See what curse will be found in Big Bar's Fire. Get the end of the quest along along with his drops. You've been invaded by the Dying Eater in the moat. We're there. You'll be unable to get the seabed curse from his body. Apparently, you can save Bogart by aggroing him at the Landale moat before freeing the Dung Eater in his cell. Once you have defeated the Dung Eater during the invasion and you've fed Dung Eater's corporeal body, kill his potion or kill him in the cell, which you can do in blah 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 blah, and the one side of the Dung Eater is the report says this no longer works. Okay. Anyway. On defeating the dung eater at the moat, he will turn the round table hold, talk to him, and he will ask you to bring his real body, see bed curses. Body and found tied up in the chair in the same cell he was released from before. At this point, Dung Eater summoned, sign from Ob will disappear. <clears throat> <coughs> you may interact with him, give him seabed curses to him, or terminally you could give the solace potion. Um Dung Eater puppet summoned from Solvus, but this will end the Dung Eater quest line venture from getting the blessing to spare any, which I don't really care about anyway, but after giving the Dung Eater five seabed curses, quest line will complete and you will be rewarded with the mending rune of the fell curse with the area the omen set uh, where he gives you the rune. Okay. Yeah, we just need to find the seabed curses, huh? All right. I have three of them, I think. Lindell Capital. Yeah, there's one up there I know to get. Royal Capital, blah, blah, blah. Got the one in the Volcano Manor from the town, the elegy. Anyway, I go. Oh. All right, well, we sat there for a minute looking through all that, so I apologize for the delay. But let's uh, go back here and talk to him. Actually, he's this way. Also, I have mining bells to give. I hear you. Oh, I'm not her foster father anymore. I'd still like to thank you. Sorry. But the time you had to waste. There are four more. Nicola, his twin. Luna Prand. Rani is so here that if you should let I'll trade. We both as such. Yeah, I guess I don't have any more information to give him yet. I thought I would have had more info to give him at this point. So, yeah. That plus six. So, yeah, the next one we get from Paramazula gives us seven and eight, but I don't think we can buy nines or even. I don't think we can buy nines. Yeah, you can get slivers of meat, and these can be crafted into the exalted flesh, which gives you physical uh, buffs. Go ahead and just buy those to have them.
We are ready to request the aid of a hunter. And a request for summoning from hunters. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box. Yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh. Trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you. And defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Go and unshackle my trapped in the sewer jail. I can kill you. Then the pox. Okay. That's not creepy. I only have two of them. I thought I had three. All right. Well, I know I can get one from the crab dude when he invades. That's three. I know the, the fourth one is in the Landell capital that I didn't grab yet. There's six different ones, huh? I got the one from the Volcano Manor. The alternate version of the round table hold. Yeah, I got that one. That's the other one I got. I got the one from Volcano Manor, and I got the one from the alternate version of the round table hold, I think. If you exit the Capital Ramp Run again, you can or find boys in the building. Yeah, that's the first one. On the body of the black card at the end is. Uh, uh, yeah, so I got the Volcano Manor one. I got the one from the alternate version of the round table. So that's two. One can be got from the crab guy and the uh, and then another one from the one room there. The um, the last one I can get is from the Halleck tree, huh? The prayer room to grace head forward towards the end, blah, blah, blah. So, all right, well. I guess then I'll do the crab pot guy or whatever. I think he'll invade now, right? When I come down here. Yeah, black guard, I think. I think he'll invade. We'll do this. We'll get the, the seal from him now and then we can get the seal from the Royal Capital in here. That'll be four and then the last ones are in the Halleck tree, which I can't get yet until I go there. So we can do those later, though. I guess I have to go down into the sewers, into the jail first. I think it is, right? Yeah, there's an elevator right here. Also, yeah, we should look at gold masks. West. It's there right over there as well. This is the spot where you can 
Yeah, you know, use the regression that turns him into America. What? Barrier of gold. Alright. Greatly increases magic damage negation for self and allies. One of the incantations of Earth Tree Worship greatly increases magic damage negation for the caster and your allies. Hold to continue praying. And delay activation. This incantation was used by champions of the Erd Tree in the first and second Lyrian Wars, during which the red haired Radagon joins the hero's ranks. Okay. Mm okay. Alright. Where do I jump down here? Yeah. The boat of the Grand Sacks. else for me to find around here um let me go back here let's from there i know where to go hey brother yeah okay I guess sometimes it doesn't want to follow up properly. Maybe I'm hitting it too soon.
Not some cave moss. Find of the century. Sometimes it'll do it, but not every time. I guess maybe it's just my timing. Maybe I'm hitting the button too soon and the animation with the, uh, you know, flame spell or whatever. All right. There's a seedbed curse right there. Whether these guys are made of like solid material or maybe not. I guess I just hit the wall is what that was. down there and just makes you think of Sekiro. There's the ladder up. Right here. That's what I thought. So we get the seed bed curse here. And then we get one from Blackguard and doing his quest line. And then the last one, the last two are in the Halig tree. Halig tree, Halig tree, whatever. Repeating crossbow and those close to bolts hurt. Oh boy, a warming stone. Up behind the bar. I really don't think, honestly, there's anything else here in the actual capital area itself that I care about. rated tree thing that I could kill and get another golden seed from because I still do have one more charge of my Estus flask that I could get so I could have 10 in HP and 5 in FP or however I want to go about it
Yeah, we've already gone down here and done this stuff. We went up there and did all that already, obviously. There's some stuff down there to do. That's where the ulcerated tree thing is. There's some other little mini sewer areas that we can do. There's, I don't think there's anything else in town now to get, now that I got the bolt of grain sacks, which is really what I was going back here for after. I mean, I think there's... It does seem like there's some, you know, smith stones, but I'm not really concerned about them now, honestly. Like, unless they're smithstone nines, I don't really have a need for them. Because I can just farm runes and do whatever now. Smithstone fours. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I guess other than, like I said, going over there to Gold Mask, talking with him. I don't think there's anything else really for me here. Here that goes to anything. Nothing over here that goes to anything. No. Number six, what do you do? That way just leads out to uh, where the lift is for the giant's place. We'll come up here and drop down on this and grab this. Which is something I don't care about. I thought that was uh, the Smith map, but I guess not. open that goes in here yeah I didn't really finish exploring this stuff either there really isn't much else for me to explore here
but this does lead up to where Gold Mask is up there. What's up? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I have a roof, nerd. Seal from him. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> that was okay. All right. Yeah. Like, I guess we had a moment of like, what the fuck? Like, he was like, all right, just kill me. And then my guy was like, well, I mean, I'm out of FP, so I can't cast that spell. So I got to just, you know, yeah. Okay. Gravel stone. What is this gravel stone seal here? Sacred seal made from gravel stone, thought to be an ancient dragon scale, enhances dragon cult incantations. Oh, of the royal capital. Worship of the ancient dragons does not conflict with the belief in the earth tree. After all, the seal and lightning itself are both imbued with gold. Herman has no skill, blah, 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 blah. Interesting. So, uh, I guess that means that that enhances, like, these, like, that, Dragon Bolt, uh, like, the Dragon Lightning stuff, Frozen Lightning Spear, you know, I don't know, I assume that's the Gravel one does, it makes those stronger, interesting, if that's the case. How do we get back into this? Might be part of the in there. We might get into it from in there. Oh, there's an item up here. Is there? It's probably just like a rune arc or something. I get in there from there. That's for sure. Fuck do we get up and over there then? Yeah, I don't think we're making that jump. Yeah, we can't call torrent. Yeah, yeah. We can jump from here up there. Hmm. Okay. You're supposed to drop down from there. That can't be all right. I don't even think that's a window. Yeah, I don't even think that's a window you can do anything with. Yeah, you just have to time that, or, yeah, time that properly. Don't okay, okay, and we got a somber six. All right, you know, whatever. Okay. 
trying to remember how we get over into this little area over here to the side because I know there's one of those virgin spinny wheel pain in the ass things over here. Just leads to the kitchen right in really. so can, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we gotta go from up top. Maybe there's a way we get out from up top up there. This open. Oh. Maybe it's just this right here. fucking things. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. This leads from the Divine Tower. This might be where you go Morgoth's thing. Hawk axe, okay, so that's where you get that. Or that's actually supposed to be to fairly lose a body. You know what I mean? I don't know. Axes, where are they? Doot, 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 Stormhawk. That Alexander resemble a hawk with its wings compromised, comprising the blade, signature weapon of warriors who strive to remain one with the storm. By being so far from their place of birth, their hearts are proud and thereby easily undone. Imbue the armament's wing blade with lightning and swing it around to create a temp tempestuous lightning storm. Yeah, I think this is Feli Lu's sword. Okay. Done a dual axe build either. He's something I try at some point. Somber six. I'll give you. I just wanted to check and see if he dropped anything or not. Alright. See, I think this... 
Maybe this leads to the divine tower where you get more guts. More gots, whatever. This is where you get the air thing. I don't remember. I know I've done this before, I just don't remember. Cause like honestly, I never really in in I, I really just don't use the great runes in my playthroughs. Like I just don't really bother. I don't like calculate that in. Oh, this leads up to the divine bridge. Okay. Yeah, this leads up to the divine bridge. But there's also the The warp portal over here, but I'm pretty sure this takes you for Melanius. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. I mean, active now. It wasn't active earlier. Tightly blocked shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one takes you to. I'm pretty sure this one's for Melania. So this is for Rikard. Interesting. Well, I don't think there's anything really more to do up at the top part of the capital for me to get. I'm just going to warp here. I'm just going to warp down into the sewer. Because this is where I need to go for... I need to see the dung eater, etc. So... <clears throat> Alright. 